Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go through how you can use the COUNTIFS function in Microsoft Excel. The COUNTIFS function is a great way to count the number of cells that meet multiple criteria. And with that said, let's get into the video. Before we start answering these questions, let's first take a moment to familiarize ourselves with our datasets. In this first dataset here, we have a list of employees at the company, along with some key pieces of information about them. We also have an empty column here where we want to track to see which employees attended a recent conference. Luckily for us, the attendance for the conference can be found in this worksheet here. So let's go back to our company employee list and start answering the questions here on the right. The first question here is, how many employees are in the engineering department and earn more than $80,000? So let's go ahead and enter in the countess function and we'll go over the arguments within it. So the way that the COUNTIS function works is that you specify a criteria range and then you specify the criteria to check against that range. So in this case, there's going to be two criteria. One of them is checking to see if the employee is in the engineering department and the other criteria is going to check to see if they earn more than $80,000. So let's tackle the engineering department one first. So the criteria range is going to be this range of cells here for department and then in my criteria one argument, I'm going to put in the text engineering. Then for our next criteria, we're gonna select this cell range here for salary. And then we're gonna enter in this for greater than $80,000. So as a quick recap, in the cell range here, we're counting the number of cells where there's the word engineering. And in this cell range, we're counting the number of times we see the salary that's greater than 80,000. So let's hit enter and we get the answer of four, which corresponds to these employees. Let's move on to our next question, which is how many employees report to Sarah Johnson, whose employee ID is 26 and started on or after January 1st, 2018. So let's go ahead and enter in our count as function. And our first criteria range is going to be this cell range here for supervisor ID we're going to count to see how many cells contain the number 26. Then in our next criteria range, we're going to select this cell range here for start date. And here is where we're going to check to see which cells contain dates that are greater than or equal to January 1st, 2018. So as a quick recap, we're counting the number of cells in this cell range that contain the number 26 and in this cell range, where the cells contain a date that's greater than or equal to January 1st, 2018. So let's press the enter key and we get the number six returned to us, which corresponds to these employees. Before we get into our next question, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would greatly appreciate it if you did, as that will help the channel grow. All right, let's get to our next question. Moving on to our next question, how many employees in the engineering department earn more than $75,000 and have their first name start with an S. So here we have our first three criteria question. Let's go ahead and answer it. So let's enter in the COUNTIS function. And our first criteria here is going to be our department, which we've done before. So selecting that cell range and putting engineering as our criteria. Our next criteria is going to be the salary. So let's select the salary range here and enter in greater than 75,000. And then for our third criteria range, select the names. And to check to see if the name starts with an S, we're going to use an asterisk, which represents a wildcard. So here I'm going to type in the S and then I'm going to put an asterisk there and that will complete our formula. So let's go ahead and press enter. And then we get the number two returned to us, which corresponds to these employees. So our next question here is, how many employees in the engineering department attended the conference event? This question is gonna to have to be answered in two parts. The first part being filling in the blanks here to check to see if the employee attended. And the second part is doing the count itself. So let's tackle the first part by entering the countess function here. And our criteria range one is gonna be the attendance sheet itself. So we'll head over to the attendance here and then we'll select the cell range for employee ID. 
I'll make sure to press the F4 key to turn that into an absolute cell reference. Then we'll head back to the company employee list and our criteria is gonna be the employee ID. Then we can press enter and then we get the result one returned to us. And that just means it counted employee ID once in the attendance, meaning that they attended the event. So we can go ahead and copy this formula down by clicking the fill handle. And now we get a bunch of ones and zeros appearing in our data set one meaning that they attended, and zero meaning they didn't. So now let's go ahead and enter in our count as function here to answer the question. So our first criteria range is going to be selecting the department cell range, and we're checking to see which cells contain the word engineering. And then our second criteria range is going to be this new column here, and we're just going to check to see which cells contain the number one. Now let's press enter. And now we get the result seven returned to us, which corresponds to these employees. And our last question here is, how many QA engineers and software developers are there? So let's enter in our count as function. And we're gonna check the position cell range for any cells that contain the word QA engineer. Now we also wanna check the number of cells that contain the words software developers too. So we can just use the plus symbol and enter in another count ifs function. So let's enter in another count ifs, then we'll check the same cell range, but we're gonna check to, to see which cells contain the word software and software developer. Now let's go ahead and press enter. And now we get the number eight returned to us, which corresponds to these employees. And that's how you use the count ifs function in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if there's any topics that you want me to cover in future videos, make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. I'll see you all in the next video.